Hi, my name is Bill Olmes. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how I built this virtual pipe organ for under $1,000 by scrounging parts from used organs and other sources. Okay, full disclosure, I already had an Apple iMac M3 computer, and the cost of that's not included. I also had a Motu Ultralight Mark III audio interface and a pair of Event TR8 studio monitors from my digital recording studio. The cost of these is not included. I was fortunate to find a stack of three keyboards made by Classic Organ Works. They were used and fairly old, but they were workable. I had to order a couple of MIDI cables and a dedicated 9-volt power cube, and then wired them as shown in the manual. I also bought a used Yamaha Expression pedal. These are very easy to find. Hauptwerk was running a sale, so I took advantage of that and bought a light version of the software that I can later upgrade. So at this point, I had something that was playable for under $350 additional out-of-pocket money. So now it's time to start scrounging for a used organ. I mainly was looking for a pedal board and a bench, and I found this Technics organ built in about 1992. I thought I would be able to salvage some of the buttons and lights, but that wasn't the case. The buttons were one large plastic sheet overlying a circuit board that had discrete switches and LEDs on it. I was, however, able to salvage the switches and LEDs for later custom switches we'll show in part two. Here's a look at the pedal board with the circuit boards and the elastomer switches. Taking everything apart, I found that the switches were in very good condition. I had to trace out the circuit board, two boards, one for the top octave, one for the bottom octave, and see what I had to remove. I unsoldered any components that were connected to the switches. It helps to have a soldering station if you don't already have one. I used a MIDI interface board made by DTS MIDI systems along with a ribbon cable to connect to the boards. Each wire was soldered to the connections from one of the switches. Hauptwerk Hardware has an excellent series of videos on this kind of thing. Time to connect it up to the laptop and see if it makes any sounds. I mounted the circuit board inside the pedal board case and carefully tucked the ribbon cable so it wouldn't get in the way of the switches. And one final test before we button it all up. The Yamaha Expression pedal was wired to one of the analog inputs on the board, and a block of wood was cut to mount the pedal at the correct angle. I bought a desk at the office supply store that was wide enough for the pedals and also not too deep. I made my own key cheeks out of available scrap wood and spray painted them black. The top and the plexiglass music stand were both salvaged from the Technics organ. So here's where I am now for under $850. In part two, I'm going to go into the details of adding a dedicated computer, a touchscreen, and also some custom-made switches. Thank you for watching.